In this video, we're going to take a look at what causes tingling around the Achilles tendon or the heel area and how do you treat it. The first point we're going to look at is how do you diagnose this type of injury, what's needed for that and to decide the, the correct treatment then. Then we'll cover some of the most common causes for tingling around the Achilles and how you treat those. And lastly, we'll look at less common causes for tingling in that area. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mareko. I'm one of the physiotherapists from TreatMyAchilles.com, where you can get online physiotherapy assessment as well as treatment for your Achilles injuries. Have a look at the description of this video if you want a link to our website. How can you tell what is causing the tingling in your Achilles area or your heel? So the first step is that your physio or your doctor will take a thorough history because what we need to understand is how did this start in the first place? Um, was it, did you injure it? Did it just start by itself? Did you wake up one morning with it there? Um, then we need to understand what makes it worse. Does it get worse through certain activities or a position you put it in? Only when you stretch it or does it just feel like it the whole time? What makes it better? What can you do to relieve it, if anything? And you want to also understand any other conditions the person has. So, for instance, are you experiencing any other symptoms? So make sure, even if you think that it's never going to be related, that you tell your doctor or your physio about all the symptoms you, you feel in your body, because it may actually be quite vital to the diagnosis. And lastly, have you got any other conditions, especially conditions like diabetes or any systemic conditions? Make sure that you tell your doctor or your physio about all of these. Then the next step will be that there is one of several routes to go. Most often, your physio or doctor will then make you do some physical tests to check. Um, you want to check for nerves, how well they move, if there's loss of sensation in specific areas, because like you'll find out in a minute, the body has very specific patterns where different nerves provide sensation. So by testing the body, we can tell what nerves are most likely affected or what is causing your symptoms. So physical tests will be the first thing. Then sometimes they may ask for further investigations. Now, patients are often surprised that this is not always done, but this is because actually not all injuries to nerves show up on scans. There are only very few of them. So I'll talk about those in a minute as well. Um, and then they may ask for thing, other studies like nerve conduction studies where they put pins into different parts of your body and they see how well your nerves conduct. But again, this is not useful for all nerve injuries. It's just if you suspect a very specific type and I'll flag them up in a minute. And then lastly, they may actually ask for blood tests if they suspect that you may have a systemic cause of your tingling, which we'll get to in the last point as well. They may ask for... Um, tests with regards to sugar levels or vitamin levels or mineral levels um, depending on the situation. So as you can see there's quite a wide variety of things that needs to be considered and not every person will have the same tests here. The most common cause for tingling around your Achilles tendon or the heel area is when you injure a little nerve in that area. Now you have the sural nerve that runs down the back of the calf, crosses over the Achilles tendon about that far above the heel and comes to the outer side of the ankle. And then you also have your tibial nerve that provides more sensation towards the inner side of the ankle. But these two nerves have loads of little branches that supply different parts of the heel and the skin that crosses that area. And the supply is slightly different between people. So you can't always say that it's exactly that nerve, but um, yeah, so they supply that area and an injury to either of those or irritation of either of those can cause that tingling sensation. Now, how do you injure them or how do you actually irritate them? The first way is through an overstretch injury. Now, this can be either you doing lots and lots of deep dorsiflexion stretches in yoga that you just overstretch the nerve and that makes it hurt. Or it can be a sudden overstretch that you just step off something and it pulls the nerve and wasn't quite ready for it and that gives it a bit of an injury. 
but it can also be a direct impact. So if you get knocked on it, that will cause it to be irritated and sore for a while and cause that tingling sensation. Yeah, so then the interesting thing is we do sometimes see it associated with Achilles tendinopathy. So a patient will have Achilles tendinopathy plus tingling around that area. Now, I'm not 100% sure why that happens and the research doesn't offer much advice on it either. So I've got two theories with regards to that. The first is that whatever activity you did to injure your Achilles tendon injured the nerve at the same time. Or second, that the changes that happens in the tendon because of the injury process for Achilles tendinopathy ends up irritating the nerve. What I do know is that it reacts really well to treatment if you respect the nerve and protect it. And I'll tell you how to do that in a minute. So then lastly, um, sometimes the reason that you've got the tingling in the heel or that numb sensation is when the nerve is somewhere higher up in the leg is a little bit stuck and it can't move that well. So whenever we move, our nerves are meant to slide in our limbs. But say, for instance, you've got really tight glutes, it may prevent it from sliding properly so that when you give a step forwards, the nerve pulls tight and it gets irritated at the heel. That's called increased neural tension, but it's not the most common cause for this. So that's not the first thing I would look for. Most commonly, it's an overstretch injury of the nerve, either through stretching too much or something you did. So how do you get this better? If this is the reason why yours is sore, then the first thing is you want to take the strain off the nerve. And that can mean that you want to prevent any position of excessive stretch on the nerve. So wearing shoes with a bit of a heel lift in can be really useful to just keep it in that position where it's going to avoid stretching. If you're doing Achilles rehab, it may mean that you do your rehab exercises to floor level or even with shoes on that you don't go totally flat, that you really stop that nerve from being irritated. It can also mean that you don't lift up as high as possible because sometimes it pinches at the top of the movement. Nerves react really well to that type of thing where you just offload them for a bit and protect them for a bit. They all recover. They just take a long time to settle down. Um, also be careful that your footwear don't press directly into it because they can be quite sensitive to pressure when they're irritated with life. What's the last one? Ah, and then lastly, you want to definitely look at the flexibility and mobility in the rest of your body. Just be careful because if you're going to do strong stretches for your hamstrings, for instance, that will likely stretch the nerve down there as well. And that can sometimes irritate it. So whatever exercises you do for this should not be bringing on the tingling and should not be making the, the numbness worse. If it brings that on or you feel that, oh, now it's numb again after you've done exercises, then they weren't the right things to do. But your physio can help you decide what's the best for that. Another relatively common cause for tingling or numbness around the heel area is actually referred symptoms from the lower back. Now, even if you don't have any pain in your lower back, hear me out, because it's quite common to not feel anything in the lower back, but that the symptoms can be referred from there and you feel it in your heel. So how does this work? It's basically our spinal cord runs in our, in our spinal canal and your vertebrae are stacked on top of each other. And then between uh, each pair of vertebrae, you have your little nerves sprouting out. And we call them spinal nerves at that point. And each spinal nerve contains lots and lots of nerve fibers that then split up into your, your peripheral nerves and becomes the single nerves that goes to your legs and your arms and everything. Each spinal nerve supplies a specific part of the body. So if you tell me you've got symptoms in a certain part of your body, I know likely what spinal nerve is affected because scientists have mapped this for us. They call it dermatomes. Now, the brain just knows that a nerve goes to a certain part of the area. It doesn't know at what point that nerve is irritated. So you know how people who have a foot amputated will tell you that that foot is still itching, even though they don't have that foot anymore. That's because the limb is cut off, but that nerve that supplied the foot is still there and that end of it is being irritated and that's what's causing the, causing the itching. And the brain doesn't know that the foot's not there anymore. It just, 
it gets the message that the, the foot is itching. So the same with spinal nerves. If something's irritating my spinal nerve up here that supplies my heel, it will tell my brain that my heel is irritated and you may feel the tingling and the numbness in the heel, even though actually it's up here that's the problem. So how do you know that that's the issue? It's actually quite easy to diagnose um, when you know what to look for. And that's why your doctor or your physio will take a thorough history and make you do some movement tests. Now, sometimes they may send you for scans for this because some conditions that can irritate the spinal nerve can show up on scans. But actually, most often they won't send you for scans because most of the, um, the things that irritate the spinal nerves won't really show up on a scan. How do you treat it? Well, you've got to treat the back, not the heel. You can treat the heel as much as you like. It's not going to make any difference to your situation because the irritation is happening in the back. And most cases of this can be treated through simple rehab exercises, either flexibility stuff or strengthening stuff, depending on what your situation is. So yeah, have it diagnosed, understand what is causing your case of this tingling, and then you can get the treatment right. A less common cause for tingling around the heel area and in the feet is peripheral neuropathy. Peripheral, ugh, I can't say it. Peripheral neuropathy is when the nerves in the feet, the, the tiniest little nerves, are damaged. And this is usually through a systemic condition. Now, conditions that can cause this is, so this is different from the previous, the stretch injury or the, the impact injury, because in that case, it was just that very local spot where the nerve is injured. Whereas with peripheral neuropathy, you have more widespread injury happening to the nerve and it's usually conditions like diabetes or underactive thyroid some medications can cause this sometimes a vitamin deficiency or mineral deficiency can cause this um, viral infections can can sometimes cause this or things like alcohol abuse how do you treat this well you have to have it diagnosed properly because the treatment will definitely depend on what is your, causing your case of peripheral neuropathy so it's very important to speak to your doctor. If I can summarize all of this, there's several causes for things that can cause tingling around your Achilles tendon and your heel. Most of them can be treated without any fancy interventions. It's usually just protecting the nerve alongside some rehab. But the key is to have it diagnosed properly. So make sure that you see a doctor or a physiotherapist who can look at what is causing your case of your tingling or numbness around your heel, and then prescribe the correct treatment for that. Excellent. Hope you found that useful. If you need more help with an injury, you're welcome to consult one of the team via video call. The link to the website is in the description of this video. Take care.